Hey guys, what's up? My name is Beatbreaker, and in today's video, I just briefly wanted to let you know about two very important issues with the second latest version of OBS Studio. Now, this issue really only concerns you if you're using Windows, and if you want the fast fix to anything, if you don't have a lot of time, then simply update OBS Studio or the website. Now, basically, with version 21.1.0, um, the auto-updater in OBS Studio doesn't correctly pick up on the new update that is actually available. So, as you can see, the latest version as of May the 12th is 21.1.2. However, if you're clicking on Help, check for updates, nothing happens. So, what you have to do is you have to manually go over to obsproject.com and download the new installer. Now you don't have to worry about your old settings, they will just be transferred over to the new version. Now the second reason why you really want to update your OBS Studio to the latest version if you're running it on the Windows is that with the latest update from Windows 10, that is the 1803 patch, um, OBS Studio has actually decreased performance in-game significantly. Um, that is actually only true for DirectX 3D 9 games. Um, there's actually a list here of all the DirectX um, 9 games, um, but with all of these games you actually will receive much lower performance only by running OBS Studio. So if that is the case for you, if you're simply opening up OBS Studio and your game's performance decreases tremendously, then definitely also update OBS Studio. Now, the way to check if you have actually installed this new update in Windows 10 is you can go to Updates, um, in the Start menu, go to View Update History, and if you see this Feature Update to Windows 10 version 1803, then you know that your computer is actually vulnerable to this problem and that you should definitely update OBS Studio to version 21.1.2. So I pretty much just wanted to make this video to raise awareness that OBS Studio is currently having issues with automatically updating and you might have issues with your performance if you're still running the old version of OBS Studio and have updated Windows 10. But if this video helped you get better performance in OBS Studio, smash that like button. If you still have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Speedbreaker and I will see you guys in the next video.